on recording. And Dina will have some slides that he'll, uh, I, I'll post up after the talk so that he can make any updates if needed. Um, so welcome to our 12th workshop of the summer, which is amazing. Um, today, uh, Dina is going to lead us in a discussion about, uh, uh, I think, a very important sort of tool, as I mentioned, for public publishing papers, and that's this language of latex, an associated package called BibTeX that handles bibliographies, and then how we can stitch it all together with Overleaf. And hopefully you've all had some time to uh, get your Overleaf um, account set up because we're going to be using that for uh, our hands-on demonstration today. Uh, so Dina, I'll go ahead and let you go ahead and take it away. Thanks, Adam. So I'm going to share my screen. Are we able to see the presentation mode? Yep. Okay, great. So um, yeah, so today I'll be talking about the LaTeX and BibTeX and Overleaf. And so um, as a start, um, what's LaTeX and why do we use it? So that's basically a compiler that's pretty similar to Microsoft Word, and it's pretty much uh, widely used in scientific community and uh, the associated publications. And, and the, one of the best thing for LaTeX is that it can provide a pretty beautiful math expressions and equations. So if you are theorists and you have to use it because uh, it's just much harder to say, uh, type any equations on, uh, in Word and other stuff. And, uh, another uh, uh, another strength for LaTeX is that um, it's pretty easy to handle references uh, with BibTeX and uh, incorporate new text. That as I will demonstrate later. And so basically, uh, the idea for LaTeX is that you just have to focus on the content, and you don't have to worry about say most of the format and positioning. And I'll 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 provide some caveat later. So uh, what, what, what does it look like for uh, the structure of the code and its output? So this is a kind of a basic um, like an example LaTeX and I, I compile it on Overleaf as I will show, show you how to do it later. But uh, basically um, it has like a code structure and, and by the way, can you uh, see my cursor? Yep, we can see it. Okay, great. Uh, so. So basically you have the code that's to the left and basically you have to, you have to define a document, document class and uh, kind of begin and end the document and kind of put everything that's inside. And once it's been compiled and it basically looks like the right thing. So you might, you, you, you might have seen some say uh, lecture notes uh, or handouts by professors and other classes, but uh, this is basically uh, how it looks like in its format. So if the format looks familiar, it's, uh, is a good probability that is, uh, you know, it, it's made by LaTeX. And by the way, this is a classic like LaTeX style and it's also a, a, a special comment. And so what are the available softwares and what's Overleaf? So uh, traditionally in the past when uh, there's no uh, a website that uh, makes LaTeX and we, we basically just rely on the local machine like and there's some editors such as TechMaker, Tech Studio, and others. Uh, and I will show how, how to maybe install it later at the very end. But the pros is that you uh, obviously you don't have to uh, have the internet. And you can just, um, it's a nice backup when already it's done. And it happens before for a lot of times. And where when you're like, uh, we have to push something and you, you probably, it's better to have another backup. Uh, that's a, a late tech on, install on your local machine. But basically you, it takes uh, some storage and it takes some restoration, installation and it takes a little bit more effort to compile. But uh, so uh, as a contrast, uh, Overleaf, you could use just a website and I hope uh, everyone has a uh, media account and that basically just a website that makes a uh, LaTeX file. So, so the, the good thing for Overleaf is that you don't have to install and you just have to uh, click one button and uh, it's a lot of uh, uh, it's safe online, so it doesn't take any storage, uh, obviously. And it's uh, another strength is that it's much uh, easier compared to a uh, traditional LaTeX um, compiler that because it offers a comment option that you can try to communicate with, uh, say, collaborators or co-authors of the paper. And 
it's easier to check the history of any changes. But yeah, uh, but, but, the, but, but the cons is that you, you just can't use it when the internet is done or when you are on plane and we still want to write something. And uh, just a quick overview, overview what's uh, big tech? So that's, um, uh, that's kind of associated to LaTeX, but it just makes it much easier uh, to cite others paper. And it's a good way to organize your research in general. And uh, you can kind of combine them with the, with the Siri method that, uh, that was presenting in the previous workshop. And just kind of example here, if you want to cite in LaTeX and you just have to cite this, um, the BIP code key, that's, like, uh, that, that's kind of like a uh, BIP file here. And the output will be just like, you would just cite, cite and say this uh, Bergasser paper 2015 and uh, the references at the very end of the document. So it's pretty handy. You just have to, uh, uh, on the LaTeX file, just in, have to type one, one command and it's just being imported. And uh, so maybe you have noticed it. It has a general structure that you just have a document class and, and kind of begin and end of document. This is, um, and you just have to compile and to the right will be like this. So that, that's basically the simplest um, LaTeX file possible. And you just have to uh, start with the begin document and end document and define document class. And you, you don't even have to make this title and author and date. This is just additional. And you just have to add a set of sentence. And I'll, I'll show later, this is basically the command and um, you, you can basically compile a file like this. And typically uh, the command is defined as a backslash. So you, if you've noticed, there's a backslash here in every command. So all of them uh, is common and they have a they, they have special meaning. And LaTeX file is typically saved as the .tech file. And uh, that's, um, so and if you use your over the if that's uh, by default, there's a tech file. They just have, have to name um, the, the, the file by yourself. Uh, by the way, any questions so far? You know, I actually have a question. Can you sh demonstrate where those bib codes come from? Are you going to do that a little bit later? Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. So that will be uh, some practices. Okay. So uh, just kind of go over some like general um, comments that you, you can use. So there's some uh, thing that you can use as item. And in, on LaTeX, you basically just start with the beginning and end structure. And in this case, it's called the itemize. Basically, you just, and this little comment that's inside just uh, for each of them, just add the item. For example, if I want to add four item this, and that's apple, you know, orange, peach, and mango. And after compile, it's just like this. And um, if you have the, if you want to add a figure, just, you know, also with a slash picking, but this time figure and end figure. And this is just kind of special comment that force the figure to, and the current location, and I'll uh, show some of the um, meaning later. And, and, but basically the most important comment for figure, it just include graphics and kind of include, say in, the, in this case, just uh, a dog. And, and you, you, you just kind of um, imported it and compile and later on you will be shown as a figure. And similarly for equations, you, you still start with the begin and end command, but this time is just the equation. And in this, in this case, just a Pythagorean theorem. And once it's been compiled, uh, it, it's basically looks like this. So, and I'll, I'll be demonstrating some of the, um, like say simple uh, mathematical expressions later on. And on LaTeX, there's some uh, special characters that you have to, um, be careful for, for example, um, this percent sign, this is a comment in LaTeX. So that's basically similar to the number sign in Python. And so, so you might have a question, if you really want to say print out this percent sign or like even this um, number sign, you just have to add a backslash to make it a special comment. Like backslash with the, uh, with the percent and backslash with the, um, 
and sign, number sign, and dollar sign. These four are, are um, kind of common special characters in LaTeX. And, and for quote, uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky. You just have to use, um, if you want to say quote a thing, there is a, a left quote and the right quote or uh, just a single quote, you have to use it and all together to a left and right. And if you want to use double quote, you have to use like two times of the left quotes and two times of the right quote. This is because of the format uh, on, the Google, uh, on the Google Slides. Um, and by the way, if you really want to print out a backslash, there's a command called just a backslash and you know text backslash, if you really want to use backslash. And uh, other than this, um, in LaTeX, uh, in LaTeX we, we also want to import some uh, packages uh, typically at the beginning of the document. So if you remember, I, I mentioned there's a begin document and there's a document class. And be, be, in between there's a place where you can import the packages. And I believe in LaTeX, there's like thousands of packages possible, but the, uh, some of the most common ones are, are um, the say the, the graphics, which uh, is the, the figure package that I used uh, as a demonstration before. And there's a, a AMS math package uh, that you, if you want to say use the, some equation in math mode, and that's they will, they will be probably particularly uh, helpful. And if you want to use this uh, graphics package, and typically you also want to set up the graphics path. That's just like you you put all the figures under this folder, and you can set up like even just dot uh, four slash, and that's just the current um, like a directory. So sometimes you can use a combination of both, as you will be seeing in, um, in the research node template. And LaTeX um, is just, as you notice, pretty similar to coding in Python. So occasionally you see some errors, especially when you started, or um, uh, even occasionally when, when I like type too much, and when I try to compile, there's still some errors. But most of the time is that they have a, like an extra, um, say curly brackets or something uh, to the right or missing some to the left or some typo with the comment. So, um, so typically just don't, don't panic and, and go to see, uh, track back the error message and see which line is. And uh, hopefully most, most cases it's like, just like missing or some typos. But when, when it gets a little bit trickier, you can always like try to find error message and try to Google it. And I will say for most cases, you should be able to find some answers uh, available online. And uh, you can just Google it. And typically uh, you, uh, you, you, you have some solutions that's on uh, Stack Exchange. Uh, that's for uh, tech and LaTeX version. So as a general device, um, and it's important to save the file in general. So uh, just uh, more frequently to just hit the save button and and try to see if that still works, uh, just a general advice. So uh, I've been through um, like some of the very basic stuff, but any questions so far? Um, earlier you were showing like some, like the blue commands, like the, yeah. the slash begin and, and like Is other ones. Yeah. So we can only use them at the beginning of a row or can those be used in the middle of like a sentence or something? So um, this is, so typically the structure is that just begin with the, with, with the um, row. So uh, in LaTeX, uh, maybe, so, so typically the answer is you, uh, you in most cases, I, I think you, you just have to make like this. Uh, Typically, you don't have the adding, and at least I don't. Uh, but uh, Adam, ha ha have you done that? Like, um, if you put in a one line, I don't think it's working. You just have to put it on, like, uh, like uh, multiple rows. Um, sorry, I, I only I partially heard the question. So, is the question whether you you have an item that goes over multiple lines? If you have to have it all and go a single line. line. In a sentence. No, you can have it. Uh, you can have it go across multiple lines. The slash item will start a new item, no matter where it is. No, uh, I think the question was like the begin end structure, and yeah. it 
then typically you put uh uh so oh, that, you put in that a placement or? thing yeah so there's a bunch of those key layout keywords and to be honest it depending on the document sometimes they work and sometimes they don't so you have a lot less figure control to be honest in in latex there are these keys or top and here and bottom and other things but it's not as um it's a little harder to work with than for example you're doing in word so generally i just put either top or here t or h but i'm but don't count on it ever showing up where you want it to go that's one of the joys of latex was that um, the was that the question or did i miss the still confuse the question sorry i uh, sorry i think the question just because uh just just uh if you put like slash beginning and slash end on the same line on the same row i mean i think you could but that would be hard to read yeah yeah so typically i, I just put in multiple rows yeah yeah and it's easier to um like track back the errors yeah so yeah but yeah thanks adam i think that that's a question i think i answered three different questions and not projecting. yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So um, I, I saw in the chat that uh, this is just like like I'll I'll be describing more options here, but this is just like here you want to force the figure that's and the current location. Sometimes when you are wrapped uh, between the texts, and I uh, just want to add a figure here, and this um, explanation mark just kind of um, kind of uh, make some constraints, um, like uh, kind of ignore some constraints. That's on the default documentation, or the uh, on the on the um, class setup file. Other questions? Okay. If not, um, so there's uh, I'm gonna go through some more LaTeX comments, and there's some like very common ones. For example, italics, and um, but that's just kind of like uh, you, you kind of use slash uh, text and it, and just and 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 you use the curly brackets similar to this one. I, I just didn't include here, but when when and typically you if you want to make say a, a sentence italics, you just have to like put the words inside this uh, bracket, uh, and if similarly you want to use both base, you just uh, you know slash backslash uh, text bf. And uh, if you want to add a color, text color, you know, this, the first controls, the, the, the first uh, parameter controls the color, and second, just put the, the words or sentence you want to uh, have the color with. And uh, this text TT, uh, some people use it to cite a package, just, um, but there's also other choices. And you want to report a quantity of unit, uh, typically you use like this, um, uh, this like, like approximate sign um, and with the uh, with the unit so numbers and this approximate with the uh, unit but uh, I, I, I don't think it's like really necessary but typically I use it and uh, if you use uh, there's also like some higher level comments like um, if you want to add a section and you just uh, like backslash uh, section and also we can add a subsection and label and ref uh, is like a kind of a label, say a section or even equation figures tables, as I'll be demonstrating later. And you can reference back with the ref uh, command. And, and as I just mentioned, you can use label for um, like section figure equation table. And, and the typical um, usage is just section and this like uh, a backslash ref with the label you created similarly for figure equation and table. And equation typically um, we use like this parenthesis and this lowercase to, um, to cite. So that's slightly different than uh, figure table and section. And so there's uh, like some more controls of the uh, figures. If you want to make a single figure as uh, I've demonstrated, uh, you use, just use this uh, graphics package and set up the uh, figure path. And, and here, um, that, that's kind of the, um, similar to the question before that this just force it here. And, but um, uh, this just uh, kind of quick demonstration still. 
And this just basically centering, you just want to, uh, this command just allows you to put this uh, figure in the center. And, and more importantly, so the very basic command is this one. And you just kind of in include this figure. However, you can control the width by setting the, um, this is the square bracket that, uh, and you kind of have some control inside. You can set up the width, the height, uh, and even orientation. But here I just uh, set the width as 0.5 of a, like a full uh, page width. So tech. Uh, sorry, text width. Um, and, and we can add, add a caption here and the label typically we put it inside. And if I want to reference back, if you remember, um, you will be, you'll be just using you know, backslash ref and use this label and cite back in the text or reference back in te text. And you can take um, several file formats, including PDF, PNG, and uh, JPEG file formats. And this is kind of more controls. You can say, use the width and you can even trim off, say this is the left control. You can just trim off some left, um, like a uh, blank spaces. And because sometimes you just want to have a better uh, positioning. So, so in general, you don't have to care about too much of position, but if, if you want to like align exactly to the position and that there, there's still some options. And there's the, the other three zeros is just course, uh, they correspond to like, so this is from the left is the left and bottom and right and top. And similarly, you can use your, your figure PDF or PNG or whatever. And if you want to add a figure set, um, this is um, uh, kind of the uh, example code in WS Tech um, a template. And you can, you can try to like uh, add some more figures just ignore this section, but basically the structure is still the same. So you kind of begin with a figure and end with a figure. And you, so typically I use centering, but you, you, you don't have to just, uh, it, it's your personal choice. And similarly, I just, that that's a single figure, but it's the same structure here if you want to include more. And this grid line is a special comment that's in Dalet as tech. Um, classes and um, so so that that's like um, the class that you'll be using for re research node. And the command here is slightly different. Like it's a like backslash fig, but basically you just include the figure as you may notice. The file are all the same. And you and the second command is like you control like some like say text width because you don't want to make it too large and just go over uh, out of the page. And the third, um, like um, curly brackets, or just you label this A, B, C, D, if you uh, see on the right. And the first grid line is um, you, uh, you, you go row by row because uh, you can notice, if you can notice, like this is the first grid line A, B, C correspond to this A, B, C on top. And the second grid line corresponds to the second row. And third grid line is uh, just a one image and the last row. And by the way, you have to, uh, sometimes you have to be careful of like this um, grid line when it starts here and it ends here, there's an extra, you know, brackets. And so sometimes you may miss one and there's some error, just sorry, you have to be a little bit careful. But the, the control is uh, similar to the single figure. You can still use the caption, you know, add a caption there and add a label. So uh, any questions for figure so far? Okay. Um, so there's more control and um, that's kind of answering back uh, some questions before. But uh, by the way, so there's a best format, I will say for publication in general, you want to use PDF because it's a vectorized file format instead of a pixel. If you notice some of the demo uh, like equation or uh, output I show was, uh, I, I believe is a PNG and uh, this is the pixel base. And sometimes when you kind of expand it, it looks a little bit blurry. And, um, and here's some control here. So here, as you uh, notice before, just put it here. <laughs> and the top, uh, you just place it at the top of the page and bottom, you place it at the bottom of the page. And there's a page, um, you know, there's an, uh, another control that you just 
um, put the page that contain, uh, contain only floats. So that includes just, I want to put this figure uh, with only figures and tables. And this exclamation mark just allows to ignore certain, you know, constraint on, on the document in general. So say for a document class. And uh, this figure, uh, spanning the whole figure, it, uh, if you want to like use say two column style as you might have read some papers before, but you use this begin and uh, like uh, end figure with the star sign. So basically you, you can go like across the panels and to look it nicely on this, just across the whole page. And you can see there's some options here below in the uh, hyperlink and I'll be sharing uh, the, the, this um, slide later. Okay, so um, by the way, feel free to stop me because um, it's a workshop. So you shouldn't be always like a lecture and there will be some practices for you. So, uh, so that's pretty much for uh, figure uh, and it is probably enough for you to start with. And uh, how about equations and math mode? So uh, I think uh, even in the demonstration for Pythagorean theorem equation, you can add with the hat and basically just 10 to the fifth and the output will be just you know fifth uh, at the top. And basically you define, uh, and typically we define a parameter. Uh, if you want to, by the way, I, I forgot to mention, if you want to like start with the math mode, there's two options. The first option is just put the dollar sign. You can use it in a sentence. And if you want to um, just have like a equation that has across the whole panel, you just use begin equation and equations. Some people use like double, a uh, dollar sign and just kind of make and uh, add the equation that you can, um, it, it also spans the whole page, but I will say the best practice is uh, you use the begin and end equation you want to like reference it later. And if you want to define a parameter, typically you use the underscore. Uh, so say if you want to um, define say uh, B and or What's a good example? Just maybe x zero. So for initial position for x, you just x on the score and zero. And you can also define some controls later on. Like, and um, if you want to use uh, define a parameter, you know, typically uh, if it's not a parameter, it's just a label. We use a backslash text in the math mode or math RM um, to to put a text that's regular um, in the lower case. And if you want to add a space between the equation, because between the equation, if you add a space, you will be still like shrink together and there's no extra space. So if you really want to add an extra space between the parameters to have a better formatting, you, add, you can add a backslash with the comma that basically you just uh, add an extra space in between these two uh, say parameters or in between the equations. And there's a lot of uh, special comments. Uh, for example, Greek letters, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, for example, in double S tech. Um, and because um, there's some common units, for example, in slower masses, and you use this M underscore, this uh, O dot, O dot, just a special comment and just O with the dot. and looks like just a solar symbol. And if you want to, um, there's also a common unit uh, and it's for uh, infrared astrophysicists. We use micron, right? And there's a special comment just, you know, um, and micron. And if you want to use sign and just there's a comment just um, backslash sign and say sign I or sign, some sign parameter, say sign theta, uh, you can still use it. And there's some like example when you want to incorporate this text you just use T and underscore text and uh, infinite temperature, for example, and surface gravity, there's a law with a G. And this uh, backslash double A is the angstrom. And um, so later on, there are some practices and feel, uh, please use some of them and see how it looks like uh, uh, over the. And there's some other, or a lot of math expressions that can be found online, you just by simply Google it. 
typically if you are not sure of uh, which characters it is and and when you when you read on the paper and hey i want to use this special character and just you know just google it and typically you should be able to find some uh, like special comment or at least some combination of comments that can generate it. Any questions so far? Or is it like pretty clear? I can I can see um like um your, your reactions. So if I have any question, feel free to unmute. It's clear. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Okay, so that's pretty much for a single equation. But if you want to use a multi-line equation, you can use the package as I just mentioned before, just AMS math. And typically it's important at the beginning, as, as I mentioned before beginning the document, but uh, after defining document class. And yes, uh, yeah, that, uh, that that's a package and um, so, so I'll, I'll be showing, uh, how, how you should, uh, look like later, but yes, that's a package or is a class. It's just, uh, that def defines a special format, uh, other than the default format on LaTeX. And, uh, if you want to use multi-line equation and just, you know, begin a line, there's a special comment called a line and this star, star sign but when you are using say two column style, it also goes through this like a whole page. And this, uh, the left is the comment and right is the output. And basically just, you know, an expansion of X plus one cube. But you can notice here and can realize some like mathematical expressions. So first you have the X plus one, right? And this hat, it, if you uh, can recall, this is just a power. And this equal sign is just the equal sign of the output. But this is a special character, as I mentioned, uh, one of the special characters that's the and sign. And if you put this to and, and you basically align this e uh, equal sign together. So you see this being aligned all together. And this two uh, double backslashes just um, uh, force it to go to the next line. So uh, adding this line would tell you, hey, I want to go to the next line now. So you can, if you want to further like, reoriented you can add the third line just add an extra backslash here and add a, another and e equal sign and whatever with whatever parameters you want if you have even more more, uh, more lines of equations and there's also special uh, command that's just the times and basically just the uh, mathematical output of the um, uh, of the uh, multiple sign okay and so we, we've been through um, some figures and equations and the next is the tables. So typically that's uh, one of the symbols ever uh, table you can imagine. And the structure, if you can recall, is uh, like a begin and end structure. But here you have like this begin table and inside the table you have a tabular and the general structure, if you if you notice, is still centering, so it's just the extra comment. And I'll I'll show you um like and and it's here you you kind of when you begin the tabular, there's some special uh guideline you can you can tell uh the LaTeX where you want to align this uh, column, for example. And this L C R R basically that means you have four columns and for the very first column, you want to align to the left and C is the center and R, this double R is like for third and the fourth column, I want it to align to the right. And that's, and the caption comment is pretty, sim pretty similar to the figure, it's basically the same. You just kind of add the caption of of, to a, ta a table and you add a label as well uh, for you to uh, reference back. And Typically we use this um, like backslash edge line and just uh, kind of define this um, like um, this line here. I will just show you output that will be easier to explain. So that's the edge line, horizontal line, the first horizontal line. And typically you want to define the parameters and the like a top row. So in between this is where you define the parameter. If you'll notice one, two and alpha, and remember to put a dollar sign to force it to the math mode. 
and the note here. And if and later on, I added to um, uh, edge line comment. So there's a double horizontal lines. And I add two rows in this very uh, short table and with a few parameters. So A, B, and this like sum, summation sign. And from the end from zero, and there's zero to one in C, zero to one here. And, and there's later on, there's a plus and minus command that's shown here. And, and, and if you want to like uh, separate this um, individual um, column within the row, you typically just add also the special character, which is an character here. You kind of split between this uh, first, second, third, and fourth. And similar to this multi-line equation, you use dou uh, double backslashes to force it to go to the next uh, row. So if you want to add more rows, just um, just use the same structure or just like copy the structure to the uh, paste the list ne next line and just can replace whatever uh, say primaries numbers you want. Any questions for uh, tables so far? Okay, hope that's clear. Uh, and so in double S tech, that's just um, the just the class that's um, that, that that we'll be using in research note write up. And um, so that that's like sometimes when you want to have a long table and. Uh, double S tech offers you with uh, another option. And let's maybe just see the full output here first. Basically, when you see uh, um, this, like, like a long table like this, and in double S tech, it's, uh, you can use um, uh, dual-ex uh, table that uh, you can just, just basically make, make such a long table, I will say, easier. Because uh, if you notice, um, so just ignore the top high level control, but uh, this uh, double S uh, table just allows you to just add a star data and data. And, but other than that, the structure is pretty similar. You, you have this, um, this amazing object. Now this, I, I think uh, in the example here is M, M1 to M10. And if you notice, it's like, uh, there's multiple um, say columns and if you notice, like um, there's also some numbers, and all the way to the end. And basically, you 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 start with the start data and end data, and you'll be particularly useful when you want to report, say, the source with uh, a list of spectral type for a sample you'll be writing at the end. And you can add some extra comments. That's for example, it's a table comments, and just add uh, kind of explains this um, the comments. Sorry, comments in here. So if you look at this, it's like you add the nodes here, right? And also notice that there's a like a left quote and right quote, and it's a double quote. And and in here you see you notice the differences. That's how we use in LaTeX. And um, another like four things. So remember this just uh, this dollar sign that allows you to go through the whole page, and uh, if you're using a uh, two column style. That's on one of the options, but um, for research, no, it's not necessary. But if you if you like read some paper with a double, say two columns, and in general, say for AppJ um, or even MNRS, and you see um, sometimes this structure will allow you to like make it uh, to span the full page. And this is similar comments. This is center, center here. No, sorry, it's not here. It's hidden. Um, so hidden means like I, I want to hide this, the third, uh, this uh, say crab nebula. And you see here, it's not shown here. And, and this is left and D is the decimal, which is also special um, like command, like a control on, on the double S uh, table that basically just align this decimal places. If you'll notice here, this, this column just uh, aligns this uh, decimal place as well. And that, that's only uh, possible in double S tag. You, you, can, uh, you can add your own control, but typically I, uh, you don't have to. So just, just remember you have this uh, flexibility. And uh, on double S uh, tech uh, tutorial, there's also more options that you can use. And, uh, and so it's a little bit more. 
um, just this is a table width, but just control the width of the table. Uh, but uh, there's, uh, when you define this uh, column, if you remember before, you just have to add this uh, column name here and the, and the beginning, but in, um, double, in, in this uh, uh, dual X table, you, you can just add this call head, which is column head and say Messier and and sign, which separate uh, this thing. And you can add a multiple like uh, top row. Like you just have to add again with the uh, double backslashes and just kind of keep going with the call head command and type the number, number type, if you want to type a unit, for example. And by the way, uh, if you have the account, you should be able to access uh, this uh, research note document uh, that's on your team note. And you can, uh, I'll give you some time to try later. Uh, I think uh, almost about uh, the time for us to practice. And just like some more uh, table control for WS tech uh, that you, you can add a, a table note mark. Sometimes you have like the power there and you have this, um, you can, and say on this, in the table here, you can add this say A here. That's a table mark. You can say add a comment just near here, the mess here and, and at the end, you just add a table uh, note text to kind of like this, this key and the text. And you, you can also add the references any uh, any end of the table and you can add a table com comments, like similar to here, you add a note and you can also add a ref references uh, uh, at the end of a table. Okay, uh, any questions for uh, tables? The table that you yeah. showed, yeah. Go ahead. The table you showed had like a like a blank space in between, like two things. Yeah, like between distance and v, in the table. There's like a blank space. How do you like type in a blank space? I guess. Oh, um, sorry. Then let me check it. You mean the distance of d? No, right there. Like you have object distance and then a blank space oh. and v. Yeah, you just add the empty like a uh, cold head. Like you, you can you can add it as an empty. Like um um maybe it's easier to just show show there. Sorry, um I have to move around my zoom panel. Okay. So um I guess this one maybe not really. Okay, I'm gonna go through. Can you see like my um, browser? Yes. Okay, let me like open the copied version of the file. And this is just uh, the, the, the project um, on my team and uh, just, and I, I made a copy for it. So, so if you want to look at the full version, this is basically the table here. Just table number is different, but other than this, it's the same. So you look at this, you just add the empty cold head. And it's empty here, so uh, you don't have to write every uh, number in here, but and and you can just define this uh, sequence in here. So this is empty, so that's why this is empty. And use this backslash to define the next row, and you you basically see this the same constellation is here, but the first very top row, uh, this is empty. So I've done the things like if we want to have the full row empty. And you just add this full call head as like, you just don't put any words and you can add extra uh, space uh, between these uh, parameters. I've done that before. Uh, is it clear? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go back. So um, can, we, can you see my screen again? I'm not sure. Let me just try again. Are we able to see the um, present presentation mode? Yes. Okay, thanks. So let's move on. So for bibliography, um, this is just, you can directly uh, add it 
and to the tech file. Um, so, so instead of like making a bit file, so that's the like the very the, the most basic uh, case of adding the citation. So in, in the same uh, LaTeX document, you can add this thing at the end of this LaTeX file and just begin a, the bibliography and add a bib item. This is the key that you want to cite. And that say you just um, use uh, slash site and backslash site and with this key, say Bergaster colon uh, and uh, 2015 and AA. And this is kind of bibliography info. You have the authors, typically you have the uh, title and this is the journal volume issue and page number and year. And if, and in the text, you just, you know, write this and use the site uh, you want to sign the text and just uh, backslash site with this reference that's here or uh, site key, citation key. And as the output, uh, this is uh, another um, bibliography format. That's default LaTeX, um, but it, it is this one kind of reference back and, and, and the end of references, you have this nice uh, reference at the end. So you can do it. Uh, on your own LaTeX file. We don't have to use bibliography, uh, that bib file, sorry. Uh, you don't have to use bib tag. You can just add this bibliography at the end of LaTeX file. And um, so, but you know, it's kind of redundant. If you notice, like um, I can show you how I, uh, I, I had this. You can say have this and I believe it's, yeah, this one. You, you can have like this and the very end. That's what I was saying. And typically you add this bibliography um, into my, like my bib and, and this is kind of the style. But if you have say, a, like few hundreds of references and you kind of like paste it all the way into the end and it's very hard to organize it. You might, um, you might feel like very painful uh, if you have a lot of citations. Like, sorry, a lot of references. And um, so there's another better way uh, in general to control or organize your uh, research and by using a bib tag. And sorry, let me go over this page. And this is a bib tag. You can incorporate uh, and all the references into another uh, file format that's uh, .bib. So just make your, make your file and this is your, your bibliography .bib file and associate it with your, uh, your LaTeX .tech file. And they don't have to be with the same name. Sometimes you can have like my, my bib or my library or my bibliography or even bibliography for this paper, whatever, it doesn't matter. But the, 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 file, for, the, the file type is the .bib compared to the .tech file. And if you notice, um, this is the screenshot from Overleaf. And basically you have like my bib.bib, this is the bibliography and this is main.tech. And I also created the second file. So main2.tech, but they don't have to be with the same name. And uh, kind of uh, 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 like, this is the class for double S tech and the, the current version is uh, 631. And typically in LaTeX, the class, uh, the format, file format is like dot CLS. So this is the standard uh, LaTeX file format. And I put the figures into the folder. So this is a folder called figures. So for example, if you want to uh, sign a paper, for example, this is like um, Adam's 2015 paper. And um, you, if you, this is from uh, NASA ideas and hopefully, uh, hopefully you can notice it. And this is on the abstract mode and you see this kind of title and you know authors and abstract. But if you want to like, uh, reference this paper and the, the uh, way to do it is just click this export citation. And, and basically if you click that, uh, so there will be an exercise for you later, but basically you just have to like copy and paste this whole thing, just scroll all the way to the end and copy it. And, and there's a, and you can have other uh, choices, but by default, there's a bib tag, but you can, uh, it's not only used, uh, the bib tag is not only used uh, in astronomy. So there's like for double E and you can uh, output as an IEEE format as well. And you can even download a bib file for this single reference by clicking the download file 
or just click this um, button, which is a copy to clipboard. And you don't have to do, do this, uh, like scroll down and copy and paste. Uh, you still have to paste, you, you just don't have to copy. So for example, in, in my BIP file, you just kind of uh, created it and initially it's like empty file and you just have to copy and paste this whole thing, the whole thing here and just paste it here and remember to save it. And uh, so typically save it, I, I just use like, uh, you know, control command with the S that, that's like your short key. And, and so when citing the text, it's as simple as just use cite and this key. And notice the key here is this guy. So you just use this key and, and cite it back in the text. And bibliography, because I named the file as my bib. And, and this is the double S uh, journal uh, class. And so document class before in the in, in previous demos is uh, in, uh, just article. But here, since uh, if you notice, I have this double S uh, 631 class here as an, on the same border and you can import it uh, at the beginning of the document class. And there's um, a modern style, but there's also other style for you to control that I'll be describing later. Uh, and so just inside this text and you just kind of cite it again and the bibliography style is double S uh, journal. And the output is like this. It's like you want to cite this paper and and in the end, the reference is the double S uh, tech journal and uh, style. And this is one reference, but if you have multiple references, it's like two columns in this case. So the like left is empty, a little bit weird. But if you have like, typically you have multiple citations, sorry, references, and, uh, you, and you, you won't be like this only. So any questions? Um, for this big tech so far. Okay, um, if not, you know, there's also another option as I, uh, I was showing. You can, so there's a normal uh, document classes article that's uh, default in LaTeX. But you can, in this case, uh, you can use uh, another package that's called uh, the NetBib package. And you can do the same thing, but here and same like bibliography, you just um, kind of import this at the end. And you can use another style. I just uh, pick out the random style. But here, that's the format. But here, the, the format is one. But in the end, it's just reference back. So that is another option if you want to cite uh, a paper in uh, say other classes or in uh, like in your report, say in your say um, like experiment report, for example, in your physics uh, lab or other classes. Then you can use like other classes other than double S tech. And you can, you can even change the site key. This is uh, in the bib file and I show the same example before. And you can just rename it as like Bergasser say colon 2015 double A. And, and you can just use the, this key and you can still cite it. Just, um, you can name it uh, whatever you want. So you have some flexibility for it. And there's also other uh, useful comments. So say, if you want to start a new page, just a backslash with the new page. And this is a similar sign, but this is the math, like a math similar. So, but this, like, if you just kind of type it, it's not, it's not, you, you won't be showing as like a, like a similar sign. And H line, this is the uh, comments that's using table that in, in the previous uh, demo. And the footnote is, is the comment that you can add uh, some of uh, like uh, extra words uh, to complete, uh, say, uh, to make the whole argument uh, complete but it's not changing the main text or any main science ideas and we can use footnote. And you can use URL link, but you have to use the package with the hyperref. And you can even define your new command because sometimes you might say, I don't want to uh, use uh, uh, like a type effect temperature because there's just too many uh, characters I have to type every time. You can try to define your short command 
and the, the long comment, exact long comment is in, to the right. For example, in this case, is the you can define a, a slash uh, R, the big R, uh, and just make as this math uh, BBR. That's just kind of the real space um, mathematical expression. And um, and that that's the question by uh, Delilah. So that's the this is a the class style for WS Tech, and it has like several options. Before in the demo, we used modern, but there's also like two column, a draft version, manuscript, and research node, which you will be using uh, when you're writing up the summer research at the end uh, of the summer. <laughs> and you, you can add the line numbers, but these line numbers is um, when, when you submit to the peer review journal in the WS journal, it's just easier for them to check this, say, hey, this line has, has some questions and uh, it's for us to refer it. Uh, to communicate uh, and just offer offer them a, another option. And in the plotting, uh, before we had the include graphics, and you know we also have um, the like a like a grid line just to if you want to put the multi grid uh, panel figures. But there's also in WS Tech there's even simple comment and can see there's a link uh, just. Uh, of for how, uh, how how to control with that, but uh, there's a plot one and just add a file dot say PNG PDF and you can even add a plot two and you will add two figures on the same on the same figures but with two panels. And there's also uh, in the in the demo before uh, and uh, do next table that you can also use it and there's some guidelines um, on the double S uh, tech tutorial. And there's and uh, some formatting notes. So in the, uh, say if you want to put a table and there's a number with a minor sign, if you just if you don't put like this dollar sign between to force it uh, to be in the math mode, and you'll be just like a, a, a dash. You'll be a smaller compared to the normal minus sign. And there will be part if you like really care about the formatting, and you it's important to uh, align them better and just have to use this um, command. Uh, but in WS Tech, uh, you can also like add a, make it as a capital N and just force it to the math mode. That's another option. But in general, I, I still use it. So I, I've been through a lot, but uh, any questions for it? Can ask any questions that's related to previous presentations? Case very clear, or it's like not clear at all. But uh, if you don't have any questions, um, I think it's um, I think it's five o'clock. So uh, let's have a five minute break, and uh, we'll get back to it at five o five. But feel free to ask any question in between. And I'll stop. Um, I'm not sure if I can stop the recording for a moment. Resume the recording. And so for second part, uh, we'll be just uh, doing some hands-on practice. And um, I'm gonna like share the link of slide that you can try to see some of the previous code. Um, so here's the slide, um, you can try to use um, use them as a guide to uh, practice from uh, for the second part. But uh, so for second part, uh, I'm gonna share my screen again to show how to how to make a copy for a document. So so first, um, here's uh, the exercise. So first, uh, go to a team meeting note, and for example, in here, there's a here's a copyright. And um, so once you open the file, it's, you, you're gonna see this, like you will be opening a LaTeX, uh, sorry, on Overleaf, you have your account. And if you just go back to the higher level and you'll be seeing, for example, this thing, and you, there's a whole list, but uh, maybe you, you can, uh, if, if you don't have any other 
uh, projects before and you, you might you should only see one but you just kind of click this guy and as a practice just kind of click more and make a copy and uh, so so try to try to make a copy because uh, you will be using it as a practice uh, to type the latex code um, for the following exercises Uh, by the way, um, could you give me a thumbs up if you finished uh, like copying the file and let me know if you need more time. Okay, um, let's have some more extra time. Does anyone need more time? Okay, then, um, yeah, so hopefully um, when you make a copy and, and you can just, you know, go back to the file and uh, ideally you will be seeing, um, say if I go back to this copy, since I made a copy, I didn't, didn't really uh, took the action, take the action, but uh, this, you should be able to see like something like this. It should be compiled automatically without the error, I hope. Um, and basically that, that's kind of um, the argument you will be using, although you should make a copy because uh, just that practice, right? Um, but um, so let's, let's move back. So right now, um, please uh, just try to do the following paragraphs on LaTeX. So, so this is just um, um, kind of some paragraphs from uh, NY Times back in 1991. Um, yeah, and you, you can just copy this whole, um, so since you have, you can view the file and just try to make uh, the LaTeX um, version that uh, can output like a readable LaTeX file in any of the empty paragraphs, I will say. For example, if you look at this, you can just kind of say add a section or something. Say, for example, you can add a section and, you know, section, and you know you can say practice or something, and and just add these paragraphs inside. But um, let's have like say five minutes uh, on this, and um, so please practice because I'll I'll ask you to share what you have, and feel free to ask any questions you know, if you have. Can you show us real quick how to make the copy again, please. Oh yeah, sure. So uh, once you, you enter this file, right? And just go to the higher level and you click this guy, like there's a button and click more and just make a copy. So there's a copy copy, but if you kind of just do it and there's a new copy and you just have to go, go to this file. So there's a second copy and you can rename it actually. You can name it as a practice file. And oh, by the way, so if you are asking where the file is, you, uh, you have to go to the many nodes, for example. Um, so let me see uh, if I have the, so there should be an overleaf link. But uh, did I answer your question, by the way? Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah, sure. Okay. So once you uh, make your own copy, and actually, I I want to delete that file. <laughs> I'll do it later. So um so yeah, so uh by say fifteen, so five fifteen, please just do this practice and try to write these two paragraphs in LaTeX format because there's some special characters for you to like nudge a little bit. And ask um some of you to share at the end of um the time.
Um, does anyone need more time? Um, could you give me a like thumbs up if you finish your practice? Okay, at one. Okay. Let's have a um, few more minutes.
Uh, just just checking in. Um, has anyone finished? Okay, we have one. Anyone needs more time? And for uh, maybe for those who finished, um, and, uh, is there anyone willing to share what you did? Uh, what you mean the quotations? Like quotation marks or sorry, um, just uh, that just want to ask again. Anyone wants to share what you have? And I can stop um a pause recording if you don't want like your your thing to be recorded. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna resume recording um, and share the screen again. So, so, so yeah, here's basically the output. And, um, and so right now, just try to do some more practices with this comment. So um, now uh, please add a section just with a comment and add a label to the section and reference this section back in another section. We can say even reference back to um, the introduction section and, and next. Um, I so here uh, it's optional because you, you've like probably have these, uh, the CAC text before, but, um, but in between these two paragraphs and try to add another space and see if the format is, is a little bit different or not. And finally, just try to, if I have time, just make a, a itemized list and try to list something, whatever you like. And uh, I'll give you like um, five minutes for this practice first. I'll get back to it at uh, 531.
Anyone needs more time? Has anyone finished it? I'm just checking in. Uh, has anyone finished? Okay. Yeah, thanks, Rafael. Let's wait for a few more minutes.
Okay. Um, could you um give a thumbs up again if you finish it? Okay. Okay, does anyone uh, want to share what, what you've got? I'm going to pause. And so, so there's a few more exercises I think uh, it might be worth going over. So, so, um, so because we don't probably don't have enough time, but um, I, I, I want you to have a quick process of using the math mode and just using, you know, A uh, square plus B square equals C square and just put whatever in the test. And if you have time also, we can try to use the beginning and end equation here and, and uh, just try to add the equation. And let us just do these two processes unless you kind of finish earlier. I'll give you five minutes for this.
Yeah, just uh, checking in. Has uh, anyone finished like the first or the second actions? Um, I'm trying to, I finished, okay, I finished the first and second. Yeah. I'm trying to do the third one, but it's like giving me an error. Oh, um, do, do you mind sharing screen and um, maybe that's, maybe we can figure out together, um, like learn uh, like coding and they tag. And so since I'm running out of time, you know, there's other few prizes. Thing. If you have time, feel free and please, Please, please do like do some prizes in, like especially for include the figure and uh, make a table. And the easiest way to do it is like if you go back to I think it's this one uh, because I have two files I have to recompile. But uh, the idea is if you want to learn how to like uh, like make a table for example, just look at the structure and try to uh, copy the the whole thing and paste it. And just make your own table by replacing, start replacing this like few things, and and kind of observe differences. And same thing for figures. If you're if you're not familiar, you know, is this way? Just copy a code and just kind of paste it and just replace say say this stuff with your uh, with, with with a spectrum or something. Um, so that is kind of um, the way uh, another way to learn. And um, and and finally, there's another practice. And uh, also, please do just try to add another reference and add to your bibliography and see if that works. And I also had other like way like stuff to uh, for it to organize in the end. Um, I'm not sure if I should like re over. Probably I'll, I don't have time. But um, the gen basic idea is that um, it, it's there's also other software for you to like say. Uh, maybe I, I should just quickly go over it. Um, so organize your uh, bibliography. For me, I use Bibdesk, but there's also other options such as uh, Mendeley and EndNote. These are also great uh, as far as I know. And you can just like, this. each of them is kind of the like a papers and you can quickly just kind of copy a uh, Bibtech record and just paste it or just import this whole Bib file. And that's, uh, I usually just like upload the whole thing and just kind of set it. And there's other GUI that software you can play with if you just want to make an equation. And there's a lake text that, that you can use. And I also uh, like uh, put this like uh, the, the, the interface between the Matplotlib and the LaTeX. For example, we can add, uh, add a LaTeX equation and also change this like the S uh, to the minus one uh, instead of the previously just uh, a slash. And you can also make the fonts to be a LaTeX like if you want to have a very consistent fonts with your figures and your text. So that's another option. I, I put this like on the uh, our cool star uh, uh, summer um, GitHub. And finally, if you want to install your like a LaTeX local machine, and there's a bunch of options in Windows, and uh, you can use uh, MakeTech or Tech Live Linux. You can you can use Tech Live and Mac. It's Mac tech, and it's, it's gonna take uh, several gigabytes as you uh, uh, so for your storage. So uh, just be careful, clean some, clean out some if you if you don't have enough spaces. And after installing this program, is you typically we have the editor. So this it can compile this code on your terminal, but uh, it's better to have a better user experience to have like uh, editor to edit in general. And there's some famous one including Tech Studio and uh, Tech Maker. And I use TechMaker and also make my CV, for example. And even for this uh, presentation, you can use. Um, so this is a way to compile under under command line, but uh, I don't I, I don't recommend it. And you can use like make uh, you use LaTeX to make CV. You can make you know po posters. You can make uh, like presentation slides as well. And there's also other uh, few more uh, say report, newspaper, even book. Uh, uh, as an option, and even like a cover letter or something when you apply for a job, um, and that's pretty much it. And uh, if and there's also a lot of nice uh, LaTeX tutorials available online that you can also check. And here's uh, like a 
kind of references I, I, I kind of refer to when making this presentation. And I, I, I'll say these are all great. So feel free to like uh, check, check them out. And since I'm taking, uh, I'm running out of time. So I'll uh, just uh, stop here. And, um, and 